All right, this is something different. For once, I'm doing something on the. Oh my God! Now it starts. For once, I'm doing something on the PC. <coughs> the reason for this is, well, this is a good game, but not a lot of people know it. This is the Dark Legions, as you can read. It's uh, licensed to Mascot Entertainment. Never heard of them. As well as Falcon. Never heard of them. It's from 2004. Oh, and there's also a really popular game series that uh, took direct ex inspiration from this game. I don't remember what it was called. Um, Age of Empires? I, or was that an MMO? I don't know. I'll probably find out at some point. But anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's just go over. I'm just going to go over the tutorials. And if you actually want to see me play through this game, then eh, alright, just tell me. So you got audio, video, gameplay, blah, 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 blah. Why do I still have that on? Cancel. I think a motorcycle just passed by. Video. So yeah, um, everything here is uh, like higher level. Higher level, well, you get it. Like the further the ball thing is to the right, the uh, higher detail it is, if you will. If I remember right. Whoa! Yep! Found the brightness setting. Uh, that's how bright I usually have the game. Anyway, audio. Yeah. Okay, back. Alright, so let's just start. Oh, yeah, I have quite a few um, games already. Let's just choose a new hero. Ah, did I nudge the camera? Yeah, probably. You two. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we can campaign a random game. For this, I'm going to uh, just show you one of the tutorial levels. There's how to be a hero, which are the tutorial. Devastating King Fred Collab. This is the main story. You start here. Um, I think I've gotten up to there, there, or there. One of the mountainous regions. Because there was a point that, well, if I do a playthrough, I'll get around to explain it, but there's a point where I couldn't continue. Anyway, we have economy, which teaches you how to build buildings. There's com military, which teaches you combat. And there's special, which teaches you special objectives. We'll go with economy for now. Begin. Oh, and it, uh, I think it gives its loading screen every single time you start a game. Sometimes it's a picture of an axe, spade, and a uh, pick, I think. <sighs> Welcome to the Dark Legion's economy tutorial. This course will teach you how to build up your economy by commanding, wow, your slaves to gather resources, construct buildings, and more. First, you have to train more slaves in order to be able to harvest resources and build buildings. Yeah, this focuses a lot on slaves, but it's not about slavery. Select your keep and click the Train Slave icon in the command panel. Train nine more slaves, so ten should be enough. Right, okay, um, exactly what goes into training a slave? Just stealing some random person off the street? putting them in rags and demanding that they work for no pay. Alright, so this here is a slave. It shows your, uh, the, uh, the unit type, their health, their portrait. If you, uh, go over, like, here and click their portrait, you'll work to them. That's how much damage they can do. Yeah, it really would have been helpful if they could at least do one damage. That's their range. Like, how far they can see, I think. But I've never... I always have trouble remembering what the slash means with this is their defense. I think that's melee, range, and magic. Or something like that, because magic, there's only like one creature in the game that uses it, so I'm not sure that's it. Anyway, um, yeah, alright. Press F4, I'm behind the tripod, so this is hard. Yeah, if you press F4 at any point, then you'll be given a, uh, thing. You'll, uh, be shown your objectives. Oh, 
Alright, we'll uh, get this in a bit. This is helpful no matter what your, uh, like even in the tutorial, but you probably shouldn't need it in the tutorial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you can, well, you can have a long queue at anything that spawn, you can spawn a unit all the way up to here. However, well, whoops. Ah! I was still clicking and dragging a box while it did that. You can see your current population at the top right, just as I was going to point it out. Wow. Part of the game panel. Indicated by the house icon, here you can always track the current and maximum number of units that you can create. That's how many you have, that's the current max. Where was I? Oh. It depends on the number of houses you have. Each house provides five more units, so build two houses, you might need them later. First, select the slave, and click Build Simple Building, uh, and the Build so icon, and then select the house. Alright, um, if I remember right, is it B? Yes, it is, and then H for house. Um, in all of these little things, the highlighted letter is the one you press for a hotkey. So, like, since I'm on that panel already, I can press H, and it'll make him build a house. Let's build it over there. Also, one good thing to know is the more slaves working on a construction project at one time, the faster it is built. That is a fucking lifesaver. Uh, oh yeah, and if you double-click on a unit, all units within your screen will uh, be able to select at once. Now, you have enough slaves to harvest your resources. Just one was enough. You can harvest wood from the forest. No shit. Each tree provides 100 units of wood. You need to find gold and stone mines around your keep. Harvest 500 wood, 200 stone, and 1,000 gold units. I don't know why it says units there. Select a slave and press the right mouse button on a tree, stone, or gold mine. Or select harvest resource. I don't know why that button even exists considering you can right click. Icon on the command panel and left click on the needed resource on the land. Uh, first though, let's press B and then H so we can build another house and get that out of the way. Oh, you weren't building. Get to work! Also, you may notice that yes, they are called slaves and yes, they are kind of African American. <sighs> Don't kill me, it's not my fault! Well, let's just have them explore a bit, and the part's almost up anyway. Ah, uh, so yeah, these are trees, uh, these are rocks. If you don't know what a rock or tree looks like, God help you later in life. This is a fallen log. It's a decoration, but units can't pass through them. These are mushrooms. They're a decoration. Doesn't do anything. Ferns. Don't do anything. Solid rock. For some reason, can't be mined, and can't be destroyed, I don't think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can't. Uh, anyway, alright, uh, let's just have them all stand here in the town square, if you will. Yes, form an orderly line, that was great. One of these slaves is not like the other. I always like to choose my favorite slave, and I have him just sit by the keep and do nothing, while everybody else works. Okay, we're gonna have three mined stone, three cutting wood, and three mining the uh, gold mine, which I think is out here somewhere. And if I remember right, I think I can press... No, uh, yep. Okay, page down turns the camera to the right, page left, I mean page up, turns the camera to the... Oh, I was wrong. Delete makes the camera go right, and insert makes it go to the left. Alright, so we'll just have them head out here. And I'll start mining while the camera's off. Ah, there's a gold mine. So yeah, um, there's different gold mines. Gold mines have a varying um, amount of gold. I think the highest I've seen is over 100,000 and the lowest I've seen is like only a few hundred. So you guys will go mine that and you guys will get ready to be lumberjacks and be okay. So, I shall uh, start harvesting the resources, and I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. Timber!